Okay, I'm clicking around here. There we go. I'm back. All right, hopefully we won't get any text or anything like that. Now, um, what you're going to, uh, what, um, there's going to be a lot of little extra writing for those of you that are taking the course right now. This is just a little intro to two-dimensional motion. Um, and this is always, always the very, the, um, it, in, in my upper level physics class, well, the, the, the uh, algebra-based physics 210, um, this is always the one that, that gets students who have never had physics before. That kind of, this is the chapter that they start going, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? Get me out of here. But we're going to take it nice and easy, and we got lots of time, and, and uh, we're going to do it through sports, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, we're going to learn three things. We're going to learn three things. We're going to learn um, uh, center of gravity. And, and well, we're going to do the three things I just listed there in that Ed Speak passive voice that you have to use when you're writing learning objectives, which just annoys the crap out of me. But we're going to do it anyway because that's what we do in education. All right. It's what we do. We try and assess things that can't be assessed. All right. Um, so I did not say that. Yes, I did. I'm kind of tired of that. All right. Um, in other words, because. Uh, I'm going to go off here for a minute because my belief is that um, you take a class because, well, one, you, you kind of need a require. You know, you, you've got certain requirements. You should have some science. You should have to do a physical science and, and, and a lab of some sort. So you should, you should have to take, know a little bit of chemistry, know a little bit of physics, you know, so that you know how the world around you works. One, one of the biggest things that I say, um, and I tell my students in some of my live classes is the purpose of taking physics, if nothing else, is to make you a good parent. So by the time you finish physics one and physics two with me, when, when your kid asks you, why is the sky blue? You can tell them. Um, and guess what? When you give them the scientific explanation, they'll never ask you a question again. No, that's not true. They'll, they'll be like, hmm, that's interesting. Um, especially, and, and that's a real skill is to be able to, um, make it clear to maybe an eight-year-old, you know, about um, red light and blue light waves and, and how some get whacked back because they're long and goopy, like red light is long and goopy, but, but blue light is smaller, a much smaller wavelength, so it passes through the atmosphere easier, and so that's why the sky looks blue, because the blue light passes through and the, and the red light is big and goopy and gets knocked away, all right? Um, and, uh, and, and since, uh, 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 but I was going to go into the whole red sky at morning sailor take warning thing, but I'm not going to, um, so that's a fun thing to know, you know, so, so you learn, learn those things. So my thing is you take a class and you learn it. And why do we need learning objectives and everything? You know, I got a PhD that says I can teach this stuff. You all are students, you paid your money and, and you're going to judge whether or not you learn anything by class evals and and you know it's some classes you'll pay money for and not learn a damn thing but you know but we'll have learning objectives they won't we'll have them by god and how are you going to assess it we don't know <laughs> but we'll find an artifact and we'll assess it um anyway but but in fairness though i will say in fairness um it, Having those three learning objectives there will help me stay focused, which is hard, and uh, we'll take them from there. So we're going to learn. Um, you're going to learn about the physics part. You're going to learn about is what's called projectile motion, and the um, and center of mass, center of gravity, um, which while we're on the Earth is the same thing. And you're going to see older. I'm going to use older videos that I've already used before because I think they're pretty good. Um, in the written part, you're going to see repeats because I, the slides that I'm using, I'm breaking down and putting into prose in the middle of, of the thing, which is fine. And, um, and uh, uh, yeah, and, and then we will look at three jumps or three things. We'll look at the, um, we'll look at center mass. Um, we're going to look at that. So we're going to do four things, center mass. We'll look at the high jump, which is kind of a lot like the high jump is a little bit like uh, the hang time videos that we are stuff that we just did. The long jump and the pole vault. All right. So those are those are four things. Big chapter. But this is about, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of 
getting towards where we can wrap the things up here a little bit and we'll be doing some drag and stuff like that for, for the book portion, but maybe not for the course because we're running out of time. All right, for this portion of the course. Okay, so that's where we are on that and I'm sticking to it.